Hey guys, it's Rosalyn back at you one more again. I hope you are doing good on this fabulous Wild Out Wednesday. If this is your first time coming to my channel, welcome, namaste, love and light to you. Please like and subscribe. Hit the notification button so you can know when I'm going to have my next video. Actually, you have to hit the bell. You're notified, but if you hit the bell, you'll be able to know when I'm about to upload my next video. But thank you so for your support and coming to see what I'm all about. If this is your returning time on coming to my channel, for you beautiful thugs, also, thank you, love and light, and many blessings to you. Namaste. My video today is about Twin Flame 101. Just in the midst when you're about to give up. Today I'm listening to my daddy, Willing and Able. I love this song. I've been jamming it to it this morning. It's like my first time listening listen to it this morning. And I don't know that's right. I'm not going to rest until I get to my destiny. And it's just like sometimes we have worked so hard on the path that we're on. We get tired. We all get tired. We're, you know. And then sometimes you want to give up. Don't do that. There's people that are out there praying for your downfall. Please don't give them what they want. <laughs> There's so many people out here that it has so many different talents. It is, and I recognize a lot. And I'm just like, we are our own worst enemy. We will downplay our own stuff sometimes. It's like. I've seen some people on some of these different pages, and they have these beautiful drawings. It's like, oh, I really don't know how to draw, but this is a little chicken scratch that I did. I, I do chicken scratch. I can't even do my little stick figure straight. You don't know what the heck I'm doing. So, I mean, and I'm seeing this, and she drew an actual dog, and it looks so beautiful. I'm like, it looked like I'm about to jump out of paper, and I was like, this is chicken scratch? Don't ever downplay your stuff like, oh, it's all right. You know, you can be a little modest, like, you know, oh, I can see this. A little bit and then blow them out the water. You know, but don't, you know, I was uh, having a good time yesterday. So please forgive me if my voice goes in and out, guys. My voice is just, my throat is so sore. I laughed so hard last night. Yesterday was a beautiful day. And it was like a relaxed release, release day. So you notice that my pattern is like a, every couple of days I'll do a couple of videos. It just depends. Maybe I can go ahead and drop down, drop two or three in one day. And sometimes I'll drop two or sometimes I'll drop one and then a couple of days. But it's just like I've been going through so much, guys. And and I'm glad for the support. And, you know, I love to see, you know, dropping by and seeing different people's pages and stuff. And it's just... Sometimes we need that person in our life that is going to lift our spirits up. And it's just like you're not re really ready to give in a towel, but it's just like you're almost close to it. And it's just like right when you get ready to have that moment, either you can get a sign, like you can be on social media somewhere and see a beautiful post that you might resonate with. And it's just like, you know what, this was meant for me to see right at that exact moment. And it's just, we all get signs. And it's just sometimes we're too busy focusing on the negative things that we don't see them. And it's just so many things that we need to be blessed for. And it's just like, I know I'm just so close. And I just get so aggravated. And I'm listening to my friends and they're like, girl, it's, gonna, it's, it's about to happen. I'm telling you, and I'm just so excited for you. And I'm just like, I'm so excited myself. But God, dog, I'm so damn tired. I'm so tired. I'm so emotionally drained. But it's okay. At least I know when I'm emotionally drained, it's not from just, you know, being sad. It's from working hard and doing the things and dealing with stuff that, you know, sometimes it's not even necessary. But it's sometimes we got to go through those things just for us to learn a lesson out of it. And it's just everything is like whether it's good or bad. You know, you could be writing a book like me. Making a movie. You know, uh, doing a play. Or, you know, starting your own TV show. You're going to have naysayers and you're going to have positive people. You can't never take one without the other. 
And both of them are tools for us to use to get by. So it is just, you know, when you, when you go through things, guys, please don't give up on your on on the things that you're going through. It's gonna be hard, and if it is it too easy, trust me, it's not gonna last. You want a foundation. You want to be able to have something stable before you, you know, you start jumping up the road. You know, you, you you know if you want to build a big building up, you know you are not going to be ready to go to that top if you know that mess is not safe to go up there. So sometimes is when we're ready for stuff to be right now. There's a reason why it's not happening right now. Maybe we feel like we're ready, but we might not be mentally ready. We might not be emotionally ready. The things that we that, that's planned out for us might not even be fulfilling fulfilled or ready. Okay. Making up a different word, but fulfilled or ready. So it, it there's times I feel like giving up and then I was just like there's always when I get to that point where I feel like giving up on things, there's always that sign that brings realty right back. And it's just like, you know what, just take a break. Just take a break. A day or two. Away from what your journey is. Just take a break from it. You're not like giving up on it. Just because you're taking a pause for a minute, that's good. But it's just like the good and the bad is basically a good tool to get you to push to where you need to be. That should, you know, you, you should never do that. And even though sometimes people can be really cruel and really mean, you have to look past that. And sometimes it's hard to do that. Trust me, I know. Because I used to be like my, my homegirls or you know, one of my homeboys or whatever will set up here and say, girl, if you don't, just, just leave it alone. You know it was stupid anyway. So, leave. But I know, but uh, and just, you know, what, what's the point? You fuss about it. What is that going to, if, if it's going to solve something, trust and believe, fuss away. But if it's not, let it go. If you can't change who, who people are or a situation, just ride with it and just let it go. And I had to learn that. So, it, it's just dealing with all these different things and knowing sometimes you, you want to cry you want to scream, you want to punch then please don't punch nobody, just go punch a punch a bag or something like that but you know don't let things hinder you on, on getting to that next level don't let that do that because you never want to live in a life of regret like what if what if and that's why I know I'm not going to rest until my destiny. I'm right where I need to be. I might I may be able to take a rest every now and then on my journey. Because it's like when somebody knows took a walk for millions and millions of miles. Going from different states. They want to walk through there doing that Tom Hanks thing. You know. And walking to different states or whatever. But you know you're going to have to rest every now and then. So if you need to take a break, take a break. But don't be hard on yourself about things. If you feel like you personally can't do a B your own reason you're the only person that can stop you you only you're the only person that, that can mess your stuff up but you know even though i've experienced stuff but i've known i have played my part in my life too so i can't just always blame my family they, you know they've done their part but i've also played mine too so but it, it's just like things happen for a reason you learn off of it and you grow off of it but never quit on your dreams because you never want to live in a world of regret because there's so many people that are like senior citizens and up in age and they're just like, um, some people are just like what they regret on not doing back in their your early years when they were able to move around and get and do things and it's just like, we spend so much time worrying about the past and concentrating on what people say about us. We're losing focus on what we really need to be doing. Now, I'm a victim of doing that. Too. I can say I'm a victim of doing that. I, well, I'm a suspect of doing that. I ain't a victim, but I'm a suspect of doing that. Um, sitting up here worrying about things that I don't need to focus on. So it's just like right now, I'm just keeping my focus on the things that make me happy. And the rest of it can just can just go. So it just takes you sometimes you got to go through it just to get to it. Just to realize, you know, when you look back at it and know, you know what, this was all worth it. 
I went through all this and it made me strong. It, it just made me aware of a lot of things I was not aware of. And it's okay. But just be glad when things happen when it, it was it was probably like a, a storm you were heading down if you were continued on that path. But I'm not gonna hold you up, you guys. Much love and blessings to you and Namaste. And I will talk to you later. Love and light and peace and be wild. And please like and subscribe. Hit that notification button. Drop a comment if you feel free. And I will talk to you guys later.